Through you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Representative Caffaro, I and uh, all of my colleagues appreciate your support of the Achievement Gap Bill, as well as every member of this General Assembly that voted in the affirmative. And we stand behind these, this concept. We stand behind education reform. What we have before us is the Race to the Top Bill, which is also about education reform. And we believe that uh, the concepts that we put forward in the Achievement Gap Bill should be put forward into this bill, and that's what I ask this chamber to do. As you brought out this bill, I had deja vu. <laughs> because it was just a few days ago that we debated this very bill. In fact, I remember standing right here facing you when I lend my voice to support this bill from the bottom of my heart and that bill passed by a vast majority so I'm wondering why are we doing it again I believe as I stated earlier that the achievement gap bill and this bill um, match and work together and that this is a proper place uh, for the achievement gap bill to be added to uh, and we move forward. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that's not what I heard. Not what I heard. You see, I know that Representative Bartlett and others in this chamber worked real, real hard all session long on the principles contained in this amendment. And you might say to yourself, why at 12 midnight on the day before adjournment with 24 hours to go, without a budget done, without so many bills done, why are we doing the same bill again? Why are we doing the same bill again when the will of this chamber was to pass that bill two days ago? Why? Because the upper chamber chose not to take that bill up. And the only way we're going to get it is by attaching it to something they want and sending it back to them. Is that those of us who believed in our heart that the achievement gap bill passed two days ago was the right way to go, now have it combined with a bill that we might not think is the same. And yet we're being told that if you want one, you got to vote for the other. That's a heck of a way to do business, especially when it's about kids. Because there's a lot of parents and kids who got nothing and are depending on us with this amendment and the words that are in it. They don't know what we do up here. They don't know about points and motions and transfers and suspension of the rules. They're looking for help. They're looking for help, not games. It's a shame that the sentiments and principles that are behind this amendment have to be treated with such disrespect. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Caffaro.